Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetStudios.com and today we are going to do the quick unboxing and quick review of the Spice Fire One, which is a Firefox phone from Spice and this is the first Firefox phone which supports 2.5G. It does not support 3G, it is a dual SIM phone and talking about another phone which we have in the market which is already launched and available to be bought is the Intex Cloud FX with which we will compare this phone as of now on the basis of specs but when it comes to the detailed comparison we will do a detailed comparison of these two phones later on so let's as of now take a look over the box what we have on the box so on the box we have the image of the phone firefox being displayed over there as this phone is not an android phone it runs on the firefox os which is a very different kind of os but it looks like any other smartphone os which you have in the market including android and ios so again this is going to be different from what you get on android and what you get on ios but this is altogether a different thing which we will just explain in this video so we have the name of the phone which is mentioned over there it is fire one and it is the model number of this device is mifx1 Taking a look over the box, on this side we can see that uh, we have the Firefox OX which is mentioned, which is there and we have the model number of the phone also mentioned over there. On this side we have some of the specifications of this phone. We have a 1 GHz processor on this device. It is not a Qualcomm chipset, it is not a MediaTek chipset, it is some third party chipset about which we will tell you later. We have 8.89 cm HVG8 capacitive touchscreen which will give you around 3.5 inch of display, so that is there diagonal we have wi-fi and connectivity when it comes to 2g only so this device will support edge connectivity it does not support 3g and both the sim card slot will support 2g it is a dual sim phone we have a camera at the back which is 1.3 megapixel fixed focus camera and the front camera is a vg camera which is also fixed focus and you also get a free silicon cover inside the package to protect the phone we have some of the things mentioned at the back that it has some adaptive search and other things as you can see you do have fm radio video player connect a2 which is an application alternative for whatsapp whatsapp is as of now not available for firefox os so they have this application called connect a2 which will work just like whatsapp and you will be able to connect to your whatsapp friends so this is how the package looks like and the mrp which is mentioned in the box uh, let me just take a look so the mrp which is mentioned in the box is 2699 whereas this phone is going to be available in the market for a price of 2000 uh, 2300 so 2300 is the price for which this phone is available in the market you can buy it from snapdeal as of now you can buy this phone from snapdeal for a limited time and one thing i would like to uh, tell you that if you buy it from snapdeal you will be able to get a free 4 gb micro sd memory card which will come within the package so if you buy it from snapdeal you will also get 4 gb memory card which will come with this phone so later on you can always buy it from the offline store from the spice hot uh, store where you can actually go ahead and buy this one so let's take a look what we have inside the package and going inside the package the first thing we see is the firefox phone we have already unboxed the phone and we have used it for like two to three hours and i would say that this phone is a pretty decent phone which gives you a kind of feel as if you are using a smartphone the os is slightly different in terms of the usage we will tell you about that in detail and again the build quality is something which i was not expecting that it would be that good it is actually very good build quality you get on this phone which only cost 2300 rupees and again uh, comparing this phone with the other phone which we have in the market which is intel cloud fx that phone is also good but this phone actually has some major advantages and better things as compared to the intel cloud fx which we will mention the first thing is the camera the front camera on the spice fire one is there whereas you do not have a front camera on the intex cloud fx the second thing is that you get 4 gb of memory card free with this particular phone whereas you do not get the same on the intel cloud fx and you have led flash as well on this device whereas you do not have led flash on the intel cloud fx so apart from this there is one more difference which is better and that is the battery so once we remove the back cover of the phone i can show you the phone from the back side this phone has a 1400 milliampere hour battery which is higher as compared to the 1250 mil 1250 milliampere hour battery on the intex cloud fx so let's keep the phone aside for a while and we will take a look what we have inside the package so inside the package as we already told you that you will also get a silicon pouch which 
is a kind of kind of a case uh, with which you can give your uh, phone some kind of protection it looks very good the build, the overall finishing of the silicon pouch is also good it gives you a frosted kind of finishing at the back side and again it gives you a very good protection and all the ports and connectivity is accessible so no ports including the loudspeaker is not blocked so nothing is blocked on this device including the camera there is no blockage for the camera for the led flash headphone jack is accessible micro usb port is accessible you have microphone which is also accessible and then we have loudspeaker which is open and you can press the power and sleep key from here uh, again it does give you slight less amount of feedback as compared to the original key press and again on this side as well you will get slightly less amount of feedback as compared to the original key press so let's take a look what we have inside the package apart from these two things we have the charger over there then output current from this charger is going to be 500 ampere so it is okay it is 550 ampere so it is 550 ampere charger uh, half ampere you can say is the current which you will get from this device approximately and we have we have the micro usb cable for data syncing and charging and then we have the standard headphones which come within the package again the quality from these headphones is going to be average i have actually uh, listened some song through these headphones and again the sound quality is really average bass levels are definitely very low and they are uh, not that great in terms of quality of sound which you can get we have a module over there with a button to pick the calls and this is how the audio lead will look like as you can see and apart from these things we do have some user manuals and warranty card and a service center lift which will come within the package so you have a user manual over there you have a list of authorized service centers where you can actually get the phone repaired in case you face any problem with this phone so we will keep all these things aside for a while and let's take a look over the phone now and i will also remove this silicon case which come within the package so one thing which is also extra on this device as compared to the Intex device which cost you 12, 2000 rupees this one will cost you 2300 rupees you also get a silicon case inside the package you get a bigger battery on this phone you get a front camera on this phone and again the overall build quality is slightly better on this one as compared to the Intex cloud effects which we have seen so let's keep all these things aside and now we will take a look over the phone so this is how the phone looks like let me just show you the connectivity and the ports so as far as ports and connectivity is concerned we have a primary microphone at the bottom we have loudspeaker mesh at the back side we have 1.3 megapixel fixed focus camera with led flash your firefox branding over there spice branding over there and if we take a look over the back side the back side is again matte finish it does have a slightly glossy finish and feel to it but again it gives you a very nice grip when you hold it in one hand and again scratches are not going to be visible very easily and you get a very nice grip as well at this side you have the power and sleep key which is a plastic button gives you good amount of feedback at the top you have 3.5 mm audio jack we have the micro usb port for data syncing and charging and we have another button over there which is a plastic button for volume rocker so we have the single button for volume control and again if we remove the back cover i can show you the phone from the back side so that i can show you the battery and other things so battery is removable on this phone it is a 1400 milliampere hour battery we have the sim card slot one the sim card slot two both of them will accept the normal size sim card and we have a micro sd memory card inside this phone which again has came for free this is a 4gb micro sd memory card which will come for free if you buy it from snapdeal as of now so it will be available uh, i think within the next two days and you can buy it as of now uh, when we checked at the time of doing this review this device was not available on snapdeal but it is coming within the next two days so you can go ahead and buy it so talking about the phone from the front side we can see that we have a nice metallic earpiece below the glass we have a capacitive home button over there uh, and again this is the single button there is no other button on this device this is the capacitive button uh, and it does not have a led backlight so it is colored in white but again in dark room in case you use it you might not be able to see the button because it does not have backlit led now as you can see the spice fire one is running on the firefox os which does feel like any other smartphone os which is there in the market so let's take a deeper look onto this os and see what all we have 
first of all let's take a look over the notification center this is how the notification center will look like it will give you all the notifications over here you can clear them uh, it will give you the sim card status the status bar at the top gives you the date as well as the plane uh, mo uh, the mode in which the phone is I, you can disable and enable the airplane mode from here you do have toggle over here for the bluetooth we have toggle for the data as well as for the wi-fi so you can enable and disable wi-fi from here apart from this if we go back and take a look over the home screen this is how the home screen will look like let me just first of all show you the lock screen as well this is how the lock screen will look like once you have this lock screen you have the option of unlocking the phone or you can go ahead uh, towards the left by sliding the slider towards left so that you can directly launch the camera you do have date and time indication over there on the lock screen and once you unlock the phone you can see all these applications running so we have camera application gallery fm radio settings marketplace calendar clock usage which give you data usage information of whatever data you have used on 2g and then you have email information you have music video uh, youtube and some games facebook application and connect a2 connect a2 is an alternative application for whatsapp so you can use whatsapp using this application on this device whatsapp by default is not available let's take a look over the phone dialer so phone dialer is like basic phone dialer on which you can easily tap and it will give you a pop-up uh, a key tone sound as well you can dial the number you cannot make a video call when it comes to the contacts this is how the contacts will look like you can scroll over the contacts you can also go to the phone dialer directly from here and over here you will see the call log for calls which you have made from this device as well as missed calls apart from this if we take a look over the gallery this is how the gallery will look like again everything on this device is going to run smoothly uh, provided uh, you do not run too many applications in the background even if you uh, see some amount of lag you can always restart the device so over here we have taken some photos from the camera this is how the photo will look like from the camera again it looks good uh, but you can have better photos when you take it in the daylight again pitch to zoom is not very fluid it does show slight amount of lag again the display on this device is a tft display so it is not an ips panel and the touch response is also not very smooth it is slightly laggy at times and this is how the camera will perform especially the front camera on this device we have i have taken this selfie with one of my friend and again this is how the quality will look like you cannot see the display from extreme angles so it will show you discoloration when you look at it from different angles but this is how the quality will look like this is the photo which we have taken in low light from the rear camera so this is how the camera performance will be apart from this you do have fm radio as well on this device and we have marketplace over there from where you can actually install application most of these applications will be very small in terms of the size they will be less than 1 mb games will be more than 1 mb we have downloaded some games as well which includes cut the rope which is an offline game it 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 was around 4 mb you do have a qr scanner as well on the play store on the marketplace on this device where you can go ahead and download and you can scan qr codes using the camera on this device using the fixed focus camera we do have a file manager as well which you can download again from the marketplace it will not come pre-installed and all these applications are kind of local application as well as web application which you will find on the marketplace and you can download them we do have a calendar over there which shows you the view in the form of week day and time it can sync up with the google account as well that's how the video player will look like it can play almost uh, any video and high definition videos cannot be played but again you need to make sure that the resolution of the video is small enough the loudspeaker on the device is fairly loud but again it is not too loud this is something which we can say and this is how the wing angles will look like when you play a video on this device the loudspeaker is at the back if you place this device like this on a table uh, the sound will get muffled you can always pause the video in between and you can share the video as well uh, via email via messages via bluetooth transfer as well all you can do that and in order to come back you can always press this button especially on the screen and you can press the home button to come back let's take a look over the camera on this device and i will take a photo as of now in front of you so that you can find out how the overall quality so we will take the photo of the box of this particular phone again you do not have tap to focus but you can take a photo like this auto focus is not there uh, not on the rear camera as well as not on the front camera as well and this is how the quality will look like especially in low light with artificial light falling on the subject so i would say it is pretty decent not too great and again pinch to zoom is again not very fluid let me just show you the view uh, from the front camera as well and before i do that i can show you the options that you can actually share this photo uh, via email as uh, you can set it as wallpaper you can share it for messages you can upload it to facebook and you can do a bluetooth transfer of this one as well so let me just come back 
and go to the camera interface and show you the front camera view and this is how the front camera view will look like it will take some time to show you the front camera view the front camera is again a plus on this device which is a good thing and this is how the view will look like you can do a decent quality of average quality of video chat i would say not very decent but again the view uh, from the front camera will be hazy if you don't hold the camera stable but this is how the quality will look like and we do have some good resolution photos as well loaded on this device which i can show you so that you can get an idea about the display so this is how the display will look like it can actually show you these photos which are designed or which are optimized to be shown on this particular phone as per the resolution of the phone so they look good as you can see this is how the clarity uh, will look like for the displays in case you have high definition photos again high definition videos cannot be played on this device but high definition photos can be uh, viewed when it comes to settings i can go to settings directly from the notification screen and i can show you some of the details which includes airplane mode which is supported you have geolocation which you can enable and disable wi-fi is there bluetooth is there you do have internet sharing as well so you can create a portable wi-fi hotspot on this device and share the 3g internet you have support for usb tethering as well which is good when it comes to display we do have brightness support but automatic brightness is not supported because we do not have uh, proximity and emit light sensors so uh, uh, both of these sensors are missing on this device as far as notification goes we can actually select the notification to be shown on the lock screen that you can do and here we have the keyboard when it comes to the keyboard the built-in keyboard does allow you to have different languages we have added hindi but there are more languages which are supported including hindi uh, tamil and some other languages uh, which i'm not sure of completely so I'll let me just go back and we do have a screen lock on which you can actually set a password lock so you can set a password on this device to unlock the phone we do have language as well which is supported to be changed so you can change the language of this device uh, from english to hindi and then you have these two more languages supported as well and once you do it the entire phone interface will actually uh, become in hindi so you have the complete change in the language of the phone once you change the language over here for this device which is definitely a good thing and when we talk about app permissions over here we have the app permission which you can specify which app uh, you would like to see on this device in case you would like to uninstall certain application you can just tap over here and then you can uninstall it as you can see and then we have file manager and another application we do have usb storage so once you tap on it you can actually enable this option whenever you connect this phone to your pc so that uh, you can transfer the files from the pc to the phone we have application storage area available 72.6 mb is available on this device you have 256 mb of ram and 128 mb of internal storage available on this device we do have an sd card which will come within the package of the phone uh, if you buy it from snapdeal and again uh, on the internal storage area we have 72.6 available for application on which you can actually install application application from this device is again going to be small in terms of the size they will be around 1 mb or less but you do have more application which you can actually install on this device apart from this we do have a battery indication over there and uh, you do have power saving mode as well which you can enable you can enable the power saving mode automatically at 5 percent 15 percent or 25 percent all this you can do let me just come out and then you have device information over there so device information over here the model number is this software version is this and you do have the option of checking for updates so you can get over there updates as well on this device as we have uh, got the information from firefox so firefox will not be handling the updates i guess it will be handled by spice so let's see when do we get an update for this device in all we would like to say that this is a pretty decent device for the price again oh, there are certain things which you, i would like to mention before completing this quick review is that the touch screen response is not very great again if you run too many applications in the background you will see slight amount of lag as well and again touch screen response is not great uh, because it is a tft display when it comes to the camera performance the camera performance is again slightly average but again the price is also quite low the battery performance of this device uh, when i used it for like two to three hours is pretty good still it is on low battery and i have been using this device for the past two hours so battery should be good we will say more things about the battery once i use this device more uh, and it does give you the connectivity you are looking for but there are times when you will see some application which will not run because you do not have internet connectivity like youtube or something else so in case you do not have proper internet connectivity and you would like to load certain application those application will not run facebook can also fetch some amount of data but again if you don't have internet connectivity it it won't be able to show you anything 
so this is something which will happen again uh, the overall UI of the phone is responsive but again it can be laggy at times and the browser experience is good as well but in case you load a website and you try to do the scrolling uh, the scrolling will not be very smooth it will take some time so there are lags as well which you might face on this device once you install more application but most of the application are very light to be used on this device again this device does not have a very powerful processor it is a 1 gigahertz processor which we have on this device with 256 mb of ram only so these are all the things which i would like to mention about this device again i would like to give a positive thumbs up to this device for the price at which it has been offered and it does give you the experience which is almost uh, very close to a smartphone experience uh, and that's all from us thanks for watching this video in case you have any questions you can leave your questions in the comment section below you can like this video if this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you